Okay, so these are your notes um, that we started on March 21st, and we had two parts to that. This is the third part of those notes. Um, we're on the back page. Our first page, remember, had um, the steps for solving a quadratic problem with the quadratic formula. So remember our standard form, you should have already written this, ax squared plus or minus bx plus or minus c. That's the standard form for a quadratic. For you to use the quadratic formula, it has to be in this format. All of the terms have to be on one side of the equation. So all of them have to be on one side and then have it equal to zero on the other side. So with that in mind, we're gonna go to number three and you're going to solve it. Well, I'm gonna step you through it. So number three, we got x squared minus three x plus three. Now this is not in standard form, so we have to change it to standard form. So we're gonna move our three x and our three over to this side. The reason for that is that we wanna keep our x squared positive. If, that, if at all possible, we wanna keep that positive. So we're gonna keep the x squared where it is, because if we moved it, it would turn negative but we don't want that to happen, so we're gonna have to move these other two terms over to the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a dotted line down the center of the equal sign so that you know what one side is and what the other side is when we're solving. So we have three x plus three. Let's go ahead and start with the three x. So this is a positive three x. When we're moving things across the equal sign, we're gonna do the opposite, or what we call inverse operations. So the opposite of positive 3x is gonna be negative 3x, which is like subtraction. So that's what we're gonna do, we're gonna do subtraction. We're gonna subtract 3x from both sides. So it'll look like that. On this side, you're just gonna do the math. 3x minus 3x, that cancels, because that's zero. So we cancel that out. What's left on this side is three. So we're gonna put three on this side equals all the stuff on this side. So on this side, we have x squared and we have negative three x. Now, I can't add negative three x to one or anything like that because these are two separate types of terms. We can't combine like terms here. These are two different types of terms. This is an x squared term and this is an x to the power of one term. So what we have to do is we're just gonna write it out next to each other. So we always start with the variable that has the highest power. So we're gonna start with x squared. And then after that, the variable with the next highest Mommy. power, which is going to be Mommy. minus three x. Mommy. Yes, ma'am. Um, can, um, can I have um, In a little bit, okay? Yeah. Okay. So we have x squared minus three x equals three. So we still need to get that last term over to the other side. We have three. So it's positive three. The opposite of that is negative three, which is like subtracting. We're gonna subtract three from both sides. So three minus three, that's gonna cancel and be zero. And then on this side, again, we don't have any like terms. This is an x squared term, this is an x term, and this is just a number term. So again, we start with the variable with the highest power, that's x squared, so we're gonna put here x squared. Then we'll put minus three x. And then we'll finally put the number after that, which is minus three. So you should have x squared minus three x minus three. So from here, we are going to label our A, our B, our C. Our A is one, our B is negative three, our C is negative three. All right, so A, just to, just to let you know, A is that number that's always in front of the variable that's squared. B is always that number that's in front of the variable to the power of one. And C is that number that's just by itself. Okay, so we got our A, our B, and our C. So we're gonna go ahead and do the quadratic formula. So we have negative, sorry, it's gonna be X equals negative B 
plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a.